determine f prime of x from first principles if 7.1 f of x is equals to minus 4x squared from the power rule we know fully well that f prime of x should be equals to minus 8x using the power rule but we're supposed to use first principles so we're gonna have f of x being equals to the limit as h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x everything divided by h so let's go ahead and determine f of x plus h separately if we do that we're gonna have f of x plus h being equals to minus four in place of x we are substituting x plus h so we're going to have x plus h squared. This will be equals to minus 4 multiplied by x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. This is just equals to minus 4x squared minus 8xh minus 4h squared. Right, so that is f of x plus h. If we include also minus f of x we can say that f of x plus h minus f of x is equals to minus 4x squared minus 8xh minus 4h squared minus f of x which is minus 4x squared so as you can see minus 4x squared minus minus 4x squared that is zero so f of x plus h minus f of x is just equals to minus 8xh minus 4h squared. If we substitute it back into our equation, we're going to have f prime of x being equals to the limit as h tends to 0 of minus 8xh minus 4h squared, everything divided by h. If we take h as a common factor on the denominator, we, on the numerator, I meant, we're going to have h multiplied by minus 8x, uh, minus 8x, minus 4h, everything divided by h. If h and h cancels out and we let h turn into 0, we're going to have minus 8x minus 0, basically. So f prime of x is just equals to minus 8x, which is uh, the same solution we get to using uh, the power rule. So yeah, we are convinced that 7.1, uh, we have it correct, all the five marks. Uh, let's move to 7.2.1. 7.2.1, we're supposed to determine f prime of x if f of x is equals to 2x to the 3 minus 3x out of two marks we're just going to use the power rule uh, the power rule states that if we have some g of x which is equals to ax to the b then g prime of x will just be equals to b multiplied by a x to the b minus 1 if we go ahead and apply this same idea on f of x we're gonna have 3 multiply by 2 to the power multiply by x to the power uh, 3 minus 1 minus 1 multiply by 3 x to the power 1 minus 1 so f prime of x will be equals to 3 multiplied by 2 that is 6 so we have 6 x squared minus 1 multiply by 3 that is 3 x to the power 1 minus 1 is x to the power 0 any number to the power 0 is 1 so our answer here is 6x squared minus 3. Let's see, does it make sense? 6x squared minus... Yeah, I think I think it checks out. So that is 7.2.1. Uh, let's take a look at 7.2.2. Well, a question like 7.2.2, 7.2.1, and 7.1, you know they're going to be there in your final exam. Uh, the variables, the numbers are going to change, but the technique is the same. Well, let's look at... 7.2.2 so we have dx and 7 multiplied by the square root of x squared we have that 3 up there plus 2x to the minus 5 
right so let's just rewrite this nicely uh, in the following way we're gonna have 7x to the power 2 divided by 3 yes we can bring this 3 right here uh, we are allowed to do that plus 2x to the minus 5 seems like everything is in standard form now we can go ahead and derivate so we're gonna have 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 7 x to the power 2 divided by 3 minus 1 plus minus 5 multiplied by 2 x to the minus 5 minus 1 so what is 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 7 that is 14 divided by 3 x to the power 2 divided by 3 minus 1 that is minus 1 divided by 3 and then uh, minus 5 multiplied by 2 minus 10 x to the minus 6 well let me check if i'm not making any mistake 2 minus 5 minus 10 x to the minus 6 so this is this is correct let's check this one okay 7 x to the 2 divided by 3 this is fine and then i multiply 7 by 2 divided by 3 uh, I, th I think all is well i think all, all is well we can move ahead and do 7.3 you can let me know if all is not well in the comments so 7.3 is very similar to 2.2.3 where we're supposed to find the values of n for which a quadratic pattern is increasing so here we're supposed to find the values of x for which the tangent to minus 2x to the 3 plus x will have a positive gradient right so f of x is equals to minus 2x to the 3 plus 8x the equation of the tangent is given by f prime of x will be equals to so we're just derivating using the power rule we're gonna have minus 6x squared plus 8 so we're looking for values of x for which minus 6x squared plus 8 is greater than 0, right? Because that's where the gradient will be positive. This equation is the equation of the gradient of f of x. Right, so let's go ahead and solve that. We're going to have minus 6x squared being greater than minus 8. We're taking plus 8 to the right hand side. We're going to divide both sides by uh, negative 1. If you divide by negative 1, the sign of the inequality changes, right? So we're going to have 6x squared being less than 8. Uh, dividing both sides by 6, we're going to get x squared being less than 4 divided by 3. We can go ahead and find our critical values. Uh, we're going to have x being equals to the square root of 4 divided by 3 plus or x being equals to minus uh, the square root of 4 divided by 3. But if you go ahead and evaluate, uh, x is between minus the square root of 4 divided by 3 and plus the square root of 4 divided by 3. If you substitute any value between minus 4, minus the square root of 4 divided by 3 and plus the square root of 4 divided by 3, indeed the gradient is going to be positive so this is the answer to 7.3 when x is between these two values the gradient is positive which makes sense because our uh, the function of the gradient of f of x is going to look something like this for only a few values of x will this function be greater than zero